So back on bodywork today and uh, hopefully this will be the, uh, the last major piece of work other than uh, doing all the filling and cleaning down and uh, I'm going to tackle the passenger side door. It's uh, pretty rotten all the way along the bottom and at the front uh, corner there's um, quite a lot of corrosion and a lot of filler so what I'm going to do I've got a, a new uh, door skin so I'm going to take the door off and uh, change the complete skin. So let's get started. Well that's the door off so now what I'll do is I'll grind the lip, the, the lip that's bent over all the way round and I'll grind that so that the uh, door skin comes off. Well that's got the door skin off. Um, I was a little bit caught out because uh, I didn't expect to find that there was uh, spot welds holding the thing on. I thought it was just um, bent over but uh, both the leading and the rear edge there was a series of spot welds. Um, the uh, bottom edge of the door is not too bad. There's uh, some corrosion here so I'll have to uh, put a a, a small repair into there and uh, then give it a good clean some anti-rust protection and uh, then put the new skin on well that's got uh, the inner part of the door all cleaned up um, I've still got to treat the rust but I'll do that after I've uh, welded the repair in and what I've done with the repair I've cut the uh, damaged part of the lip out I've made a, a little panel which I'm just going to sit on the inside I shall uh, plug weld it to the bottom of the door gap and, uh, and then just put a couple of little welds and then grind it all down to the right size I've uh, primed it with some weld through primer so now I'm going to weld it up. Well that's repair welded in. Um, I've also done another small repair across the corner here of the, uh, the front of the door because that had a hole in it and um, I've treated the rust problem that I've got on the rest of the bottom of the door with uh, some MIPA rust sealer. I don't know whether that'll be good, bad or indifferent but uh, my local paint shop said that uh, that was definitely the thing to use so I'm using it. So what I'm going to do now is wait for that to go off and then I'll give the inside of the door a quick sand and uh, I'll prime it and uh, I'll prime the inside of the door skin as well. And then I'll put it together. Well that's the inside of the door cleaned and primed and uh, I've also primed the inside of the door skin and uh, I've given it a, a coat of um, colour which is going to be harvest gold. I did it more than anything else uh, just to, uh, to check the colour to see if I was still okay and uh, yeah I'm definitely going to go with this now so it's all ready now to uh, put back together so I've uh, attached the door skin to the door um, and just made sure that it's uh, pulled down tight but uh, I made sure that I've got virtually no pressure on the mold groups and on the clamps it's just just holding it in position and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a hammer and I'm going to go all the way along all the way around Let's start off at 45 degrees and then gradually come over to vertical when I get to vertical I'll put a, a dolly on the back and uh, hopefully that'll get the door skin on and it'll be fine. Well 
Well, the door skin went on to the uh, shell of the door pretty easily. Uh, I got a good crimp all the way around the door. Um, back of the door and uh, down the front of the door and along the bottom. I then fitted the door onto the car and uh, it's important that uh, <coughs> when you fit the door, you fit the door seal because uh, you can actually fit the door without the door seal and then find when you come to fit the door seal later on uh, nothing lines up so make sure that the door seal is on when you fit it to the car. Once uh, I got the door fitted back onto the car uh, I was able to uh, adjust it to get the gaps right and uh, and to give it a little bit of a twist to uh, to get the uh, uh, bottom rear corner lining up properly and then once I had it as uh, as I thought it should be I then uh, welded the uh, door skin on the top of the door um, on the top here and one at the back there and that uh, made it all go pretty solid and uh, that's it I'm reasonably pleased with the way it's turned out there's one or two small marks here but they'll easily come out with a little bit of a very thin coat of filler pleased with the door gaps all the way around and at the back so all in all for the first time of fitting a door skin I'm very pleased with the end result.